great people, great friends, great folks. When I look around the type of people we have in TBC community generally, I'm always elated and I feel highly impressed because what we are seeing is a different mindset altogether. People who are bent on having things done the way it should be done. People who are seeing things differently from the used to be. People who have come to acknowledge the fact that yes, we are in for a change and a change for something great. So this afternoon, it's something that made me to be happy because I know that I'm going to do this very broadcast. And I have actually prepared and rehearsed after putting down the series of points that we need to talk about this afternoon. And I tell you that I am very glad that I am here this afternoon. And uh, I still believe that you too, you are equally happy. Looking at what is happening in TBC community recently is all reasons why we have to be more than ever grateful that things is picking up. Things are taking shape. But in form of question, here I will start it this way. But first of all, let me recognize you. Ember Derek is Flesher and our Never Say Die TBC admin and all the hands that are busy making things to work out. All the support, all the desk in TBC community, all those who are making sure that no stone should be left unturned, even when others choose not to see it. We appreciate you. Thank you for all the work you are doing and you continue to do. So this afternoon, I will start with in the form of this way, a question. And it says, as the way I put it, why do we have it the way it is today? Why are we packing things up, loading things this way? I'm asking this very question because sometimes when you come across some busy people, probably the family you once know, you get to their house one day and you see them rearranging things, probably packing things from where they are, probably into a vehicle standing by. A very big one, you see them arranging things and the, all the rest. You may ask, why are they doing this? Well, <coughs> something must have misstated this. And uh, that's exactly when we see how things is being packed. In this long and heavy duty vehicle standing for over three years and going to fourth year now, those who are rightly inclined know that we are in the packing things up, packing things to stay away from the used to be. So the whole process is actually busy, pointing us to a direction that is quite different from all the areas we've been to before. The process we see in TBC is totally different from all that we have ever seen or even thought of before now. How many people, apart from few who actually understand little or much, why phones or mobile devices have been modified to this very extent? Just very few that have come to really pay attention or even give some thought to why is all these things happening? Why is it that our phone did not just stop on maybe the phone with lines, the phones with wire? Apart from that, some may also be asking, why are we not just okay with our 3310 Nokia nickname Ojaboko 4 here in Nigeria? Ojabo Comfort means it fall, but didn't break because Nokia 3310 is a very strong phone. When you have it that in those days, if you have a Nokia 3310 or Sajem or those rugged phones, people always look at you. In fact, that this guy is a very big man. He is, do you know the type of phone he's having? And that is 3310 or Nokia 1100, as the case may be, and all those small so little two phones. So you can actually use it to make call. The most thing you can do about this, after if you are not making or you type text messages, or you just send some funny pictures, you know, all those things. Not live picture, but just something. <laughs> those days are gone fine. That is just the way it is. So how many actually pay attention 
to see why is this modification going on and on despite the fact that you've been able to make calls and even internationally with our small phones well it is just to prove the fact that things have changed and things has continued to change uh, for those who are not seeing it in that way i want them to wake up and open their eyes to reality and see that we are moving and we are getting to something very different from they used to know this afternoon i'm not speaking to shame or talk down on anyone mostly our seniors but rather i'm doing this to wake up people to the reality on ground people need to wake up to the realities and face the day as gone by we have to tell ourselves the simple truth that technology is here to stay that technology is busy making things to stand out around the whole technologically speaking we must say that we have come a long way building and following up with the latest technological advancement to the extent that the rate of modifications upset many yes but even at that even if the rate with which technology advancement is going if he upsets you as a person, that doesn't make the train to stand by. The train continues to move on and on. So, people who once believed in tech, that they have brought about some changes, at a point they say, why we are still busy managing this, why we are still busy trying to learn this, another one will come out. That is just to tell you that we are in the tech age, in the jet age, things moving fast things getting done better because of technology so at this juncture may i dive into the latest one around the world today we've been talking about technology but what can you say about the blockchain technology this is a branch of modern tech that have really revolutionized the whole universe it has really turned things around that people are now beginning to see that this is the fact this is in fact the best way to go about it this is in fact the best way to go about things because blockchain technology has come to change so many things why it is true that individuals or group of persons are doing wonders with it what we've seen so far with the mammoth project that tbc had made known as also known as Chris, Chris Kringle is working on that mammoth, mammoth project that he's working on has kept many people in short of work today using this branch of tech the blockchain what we see in TBC today has kept so many people confused <laughs> because it's so huge so big and sometimes people just open up very poorly that in fact they are confused they don't know where this project is going talking about tbc but it shouldn't be that way yeah some who seem to understand what it is or what it looked like initially talking about tbc some of them could no longer keep up with what they and shifting of goalposts. That is the area they often point it. Yeah, they say year in, year out, we've been after this, we change from there, after that, we change from there, and up to now, we keep on changing. So, because of that, they are simply tired because to them, TBC is without direction. And that is the way it appears to them. And that is what it is for them. TBC has no direction. That is their own. That is the way. They just decide to term it. But may I tell you that for those who see or who seem to believe that TBC has no direction, that is the way it's going to continue to be for them because they don't know where it is going. When you are building to accommodate others, the rate of effort, the rate of input, the rate of everything will be different. When you are building just for 
me and my family. And when you are building for the whole community, the rate of project, the rate of work and effort is usually different. And that is what we are seeing in TBC today because uh, TBC is a very huge project being built to accommodate good number of people, to accommodate people all over the world. This is not programs being run for people to just come on board before you know it and off it goes. No. So, my encouragement to people out there is this. Let's not allow sheer enormity of TG, uh, TBC projects to dwarf our imagination. It is only human, it is only human that could be said to stop growing. If it's for trees, you find out that trees continue to aim high. They continue to grow, extending their roots into the ground. But humans sometimes, so we have come so far. Let's stop it that way. But looking at what we have in TBC, it has really shown that we are being positioned, being projected, being shown the best of the best. The good thing in TBC is that we are both building and at the same time giving jobs to people. We are building and giving jobs to people. We see what the admin has done and has continued doing. He has continued to help us to really appreciate the fact that we are in fact very plain in what we are doing. Looking at this, when we say that we are both building and giving jobs to people, in various seminars, on one-on-one -on -one training, broadcasting like this, such as what you see TBC broadcasters doing, we are doing what some big companies, even with large workforce, are not even doing. Don't because I know they can't just do it. Because how will it be when you're looking at me like this now? From this that I'm doing, doing this broadcast, I am making my money. I'm not just making my money. I'm also helping people to understand the nitty gritties of TBC, what they need to know. If you have questions, contact me. I'll be pleased, more than pleased, to put you through. We have many broadcasters out there. We are showing people how they can keep themselves sustained even while building this very huge project. But that is the area that some people are getting it wrong, terming it to be multi-level marketing. But it is never so. It is not that way. So TBC admin is building to accommodate others. It is he's not just building for few individuals. He's building for a very large audience. And that is why we see that it is taking time. It should take time because it's something that is built to last. Unless you embark on any project that would outlast you. Any project that could outlast you as a person is a project that will indeed last. Not a project that you just do, hey, just me and me alone, no. So for those who are not yet understanding what is happening in the TBC community, please. I want you to bend down, bend down, be patient enough, and build along, okay? Recently, we've been trying to push things here in Ebon State, and I must tell you that the few occasions we've, out, we've gone out there to hold seminars and do some little, you know, meetings with my groups here, things is really taking shape. And I am beginning to appreciate what admin has been helping us to understand. It is, sorry, it's never easy to manage people, but once you know the direction that you are going, it becomes very easy. You are always making sure that you are moving steadily, despite the fact that others may not be getting you. So just as I started with, technology is here to stay, and TBC is busy harnessing real economy out of it. Solid digital asset that is set to marvel the world is being built using TBC concept. I want people to understand this. I want people to realize the fact that TBC is 
quite different from any program, any business whatsoever you can think of. It has kept us in different ways just to get us motivated. Recently, a special came up with something great. People were just dancing, just dancing because TBC made them feel good. But especially having made much money from TBC, could not just stop there. He went as far as making sure that all those who participated in that dance actually got some gifts. $25. Is it a small money? And then the one who was taken on seemed to be the winner of it or of, of it all went home with larger amount of dollars. And I read somewhere where the winner was just saying, expressing how she felt about all that she has gotten through TBC. People are just busy, those who don't understand what is happening, saying different things. But when you come down to see, when you really look down and appreciate what admin is doing, you'll be moved to support him. The only way you support him is by building the community. Getting a billion people is not today, it's not a day job. And admin knows that. Then look at the technology that is going to help these billion members first. Because we may have, even when we get to that billion members, people will still continue to be coming to TPC. But even as that, they will now depend on those who made up that very number to become billion. So when we look at all these things, we don't just depend on, on what people are just saying. We sit down, we analyze. We think, and if this thing is just for fun, if this thing is just for play, do we have or we have what we have in the TBC community? For me, I've gotten good friends. Those I'm dealing with, they are those who I have not even seen face to face but simply because of the trust that TBC has given us, the trust of technology, the trust of treating one another with real love and respect. That is when you see people talking that don't even know themselves from Adam, you'll be wondering where did they know themselves even before now. All those things is what we are learning in TBC and what is to come about. So let us stand up. And appreciate what we have in TBC community. People are coming up with different programs just to see how they can attach it with TBC. Some are genuine, some are using that to scam others. But scammers can no longer find their level in TBC because admin has closed all the gaps. If anyone is scammed today using TBC, that means that person just left him or herself free to be scammed because we've been educated enough, we've been trained, we've been given so much tips, we've given all the things we need to know, how to make money using TBC, how to do all the necessary things using TBC. Folks, let's understand TBC and be happy that we are doing the right thing. We are the big weights here in TBC community. And once you know that you are doing the right thing, nobody will ever push you off your feet. I am very glad that I'm in TBC. And the honesty there is something that baffles me. It is only when you appreciate what you have in the community, that is when you stand up to really say that, yes, TBC is met. Now, not just, just a kind of you are busy talking, making, dancing, or whatsoever. No, you dance with reason in TBC. You dance with the people. You dance with that you feel it inside you. Not to entice people, but naturally you are happy. And so, TBC admin, Thank you so much for all that you're doing. My fellow broadcasters, let's not look back. Let us handle TBC project with care. And let us continue to do the best we can to get this very community moving to where it's going. My name is Samechi. You always, you've known that. To you, all my friends, my fellow broadcasters, you are great. Let us continue this very great project. I love you all. And we will remain very focused in what we are doing. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.